Welcome to the episode of Locked In. This video is going to be going over how to carry your mirrorless camera on your bike. So let's get started. Now, a lot of cyclists that I know love taking pictures of their bikes or where they go ride. And typically all we have on us is usually just our phone. And granted, phone cameras are becoming more and more powerful every single day. And there's definitely some that are better than others. But nothing really replaces a mirrorless or a DSLR when you're out riding. Now, I used to shoot exclusively with Canon SLRs and I've recently switched to a Sony mirrorless camera. But the hardest thing was, how do I keep it on me? Do I wear my camera strap and have it slung over me? There are definitely some other products out there that I've seen that allow you to carry it with it strapped to you. But I wanted to find a different solution. And to be honest, I haven't found anything perfect yet, but I'm gonna show you guys how I carry my camera and the setup I use on it for when I go ride. Now the big benefit with my camera is it does allow me to wirelessly transfer photos from my camera straight into my phone without even needing a computer. And using Adobe Lightroom, I can quickly edit photos and post them to the gram. Now if you guys haven't noticed the difference in quality on my Instagram, maybe I'm not doing a good enough job, but I pretty much exclusively only post pictures out of my Sony camera and rarely use any iPhone photography anymore. If you guys want to see a video dedicated to how I actually transfer the footage to my phone and edit through Adobe Lightroom and post to Instagram, let me know in the comments below and I can give you guys a quick little tutorial on that because it's really, really simple to get really great imagery straight out of camera and not even need a computer to edit. Now let's get into first off the hardest part that you have to kind of decide on. One is the camera you actually use and then you have to choose the storage solution you want to actually carry it on your bike. Now, most popular I would definitely say is the burrito or handlebar bag, which I've definitely used, but it has some drawbacks, mainly in easily getting the camera in and out of the bag, especially when you're riding, but it does allow you to bring extra accessories. Now, my favorite setup definitely pairs me down as far as what lenses I can bring with me and things like that, but it's the most convenient and easy one-handed operation while riding and it's been the one I've exclusively used. If you haven't noticed in my Instagram, you see this bottle bag all the time. The reason why is my camera is typically inside of it. Now this bag, I'm gonna link in the description below so you guys can check it out for yourself. This is actually designed to carry extra water or it's called also a feed bag. So you can carry extra snacks on there for ultra endurance riding, but I actually repurpose this bag for my camera bag on my bike. Now it mounts behind your bars, next to your stem, either on the left or right side, which you can easily change by switching out where these straps are all located with a lower strap that goes underneath the fork to hold it snug. The big benefit to this bag is it has a one-handed pull to open the top so you can easily get inside of it and reach in for your camera. Now I obviously can't show you that because I'm filming with this camera, but I'll cut to some footage right now so you can see how it actually operates. I usually leave my short, wrist strap hanging out of the bag so I can slide my hand into that and then grab my camera body and pull it out. Now, when I'm done, I shove it back inside, simply pull the other tab right here and it closes on itself. Now this is an awesome, awesome bag. I've used this in single track as well, never worrying about my camera actually falling out. With the side bags here and in the front, I can store an extra battery if I want. I usually put a bar of some sort in case I want to carry extra food as well or a CO2 and I haven't had anything fall out on me yet. Now the one big drawback is because it's actually a cylindrical shape and my camera is obviously rectangular, I'm not able to run it with a big lens. I actually purchased a Sony 16mm pancake lens specifically for storing it in this bag. Now if you have a standard kit lens from Sony, that would work as well since the dimensions are the same. It's a great lens for taking pictures of yourself when you're riding with your friends or when you're riding with buddies and you're actually close to them on the road or on the trail, you actually don't have to get that far from them to get them all in the shot. And that's why I went with a wide angle 16 millimeter lens. Now I do usually remove the shroud around the eyepiece as well, just because it actually clicks on. So I don't want it to fall off accidentally. And it gives me a little more clearance when inserting the camera into the bag. And if you guys want to get into the exact specifications, comment below on either respond or maybe make a separate video just on the exact camera specs and why I picked that lens. I've been really loving this setup and I do wish I could carry some of my other lenses with it. And when I do really want to do that, I usually carry a handlebar bag as well, just to store lenses and extra batteries. This bottle bag works way better for on the road style shots. So there's definitely pros and cons depending on the bag system you use. So I hope this helps answer some questions if you guys are looking for easy ways to store your point and shoot, a mirrorless camera or something like that in that size realm. I hope you guys like this. Please make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't already, like my Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. All the links are in my video description below. And thanks for watching another episode of Locked In. Let's get locked in today. Like tutorials and